Hey, what's up? Chris with Drone Pro Academy here. Today we're going to talk about hyperlapse, time lapse, all that good stuff with your drone. Now, what's the difference between a time lapse and a hyperlapse? A time lapse is where you're just stationary. So you'd have your drone, you fly it up, you hold it in one spot, and you just film um, a time lapse just kind of while you're hovering there. A hyperlapse is where you add motion to it. So you're doing a time lapse, um, but you're moving through the sky. Now, what is a time lapse? It's where you take a photo every so many seconds and then you stitch those together and it creates a really cool, of course, time-lapse effect and um, it's really awesome. So in this tutorial today, I'm going to explain the ins and outs, everything you need to know, post-production process, everything about a hyperlapse with your drone. Now unfortunately with the current DJI setup, they won't allow you to shoot raw quicker than five second intervals. So you're going to be shooting JPEG at probably two second intervals and we're going to be flying like as slow as the drone can possibly go. Now the reason why we're shooting the tutorial today is because there is lots of wonderful clouds in the sky. We had a big storm come in last night and we've got really low clouds. They're not super low, they're probably a thousand feet up. Now I'm kind of thinking about flying up along the ridge line of this mountain right here. I'll probably be 600, 800 feet high for the shot, but I'll be legal because I'll be right next to the mountain. Okay guys, so here we are at the, at the location. We found a really sweet spot. There's no houses here. We're right next to like the main mountain here so we can fly up really high if we want to. Okay, so we're gonna be shooting photos. So you don't really need an ND filter on there because you wanna be shooting fast shutter speed unless you wanna see motion blur of objects. So if you're shooting a time lapse and you're seeing cars on a freeway or something, you do wanna have that slow motion blur um, so I would use an ND filter for that. But since we're so high and I'm just shooting clouds, I want it to be nice and crisp. And clouds are moving so slow, it probably wouldn't matter anyway. So now one thing about DJI stuff is that we can't shoot in raw um, unless you shoot in five second increments. And I want to shoot in two second at the fastest or the slowest. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the settings. So I'm gonna hit the little button right here. Uh, since we're doing photos, we don't really care about shutter. I'm going to crank the shutter a little bit higher. You actually want to be probably higher than 120 for photos. Um, if you want it to be nice and crisp, if you don't want long exposure. And then I'm going to bring up my f-stop a little bit to make our depth a little bit better. Now what you want to do is you want to actually turn the drone facing the direction that you're going to be filming. So as you can see, we're kind of blown out in the skies there. A little bit of blown out is okay but I want to be exposed a little bit better. And we're going to do that right there because I, I want my clouds to be exposed. I really wish we could shoot in raw, but I don't think we can right now. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to make sure that my image format is proper. I'm going to do JPEG raw, and then it'll automatically select that uh, style. I'm going to keep that. I'm going to do Cine like is fine. White balance, I'm just gonna do just daylight, the sun there, and I, I can correct that later. Image ratio, I'm gonna do 16 to nine. I just like to be able to frame it up properly for my image ratio. Okay, so now the next thing you need to do is to get to your time-lapse mode. We're gonna hit that again, and we're gonna go to photo, and then right here is where you choose. You got burst mode, uh, brackets, and then interval. So we're gonna go to interval, and right now it's only allowing me to do five seconds because I've got raw selected, I believe. That's a little bit too slow for what I want to do right now. So I'm going to go back and change it from raw to just JPEG. And then we'll see if it changes that option for me. So now look at that, I can go down to two seconds. And then we're going to try using the tap fly mode to fly this. So I'm going to stay in GPS and we're going to end up pushing this button right here and we're going to do tap fly. So basically tap fly will just allow it just to kind of go forward and then you can make little corrections if you need to. But since it's a time lapse, I'm just gonna set my framing and just kind of let it go for like 15, 20 minutes. All right, let's get flying. And I'm gonna double check my exposure once I get up there as well. I'm gonna take off, watch out for power lines. I got some right there. I don't see any other lines. When you're scouting a location, it's always good to kind of like walk around and visually move around as you're looking around just to see if there's any wires that you're missing, so. I did that. Take off. Take off, you hoser. Please check it on the map. Okay, so here we go. I am going to start my tap fly, and I'm going to change my miles per hour down to like as slow as it'll go. So I'll be 2.2 miles an hour, 
um, just so I don't travel that far. But I am pretty high, so I probably could speed it up a little bit so I get a little bit farther. We'll do 2.9 since I'm so uh, pretty high up there. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit where I wanna go. I'm just gonna tap the screen, tap it right in the middle, I'm gonna hit go. And then I'm gonna start doing my time lapse. So as you can see, it's just snapping away every two seconds. And now it's just moving ever so slightly. And I wanna keep track of how long I'm flying for. So I'm gonna get my phone and set a timer. And I'm gonna adjust my exposure really, really quick. I'm a little bit overexposed for the clouds that I wanna be, so I just fixed that really quick, brought down my shutter. And I'm gonna set a timer for seven minutes. So now I've got a timer going. So I know in seven minutes, I'll have seven seconds of time lapse. And then this thing is just gonna go. But I might let this time lapse go longer than seven minutes because I wanna see a lot of cloud movement and the clouds are so far away, they might look like they're moving really slow. So I'm kinda of a little bit worried about that. So I might hold it a little bit longer. So just make sure you've got line of sight of your drone. You know, you don't wanna go behind anything. You wanna be able just to keep an eye on it and then keep an eye on your screen too and just relax. Here we go, we'll take it back to the office. Okay, so now that we've got our images on our hard drive, we're gonna put them into Premiere. First, you go to Project Window, then you right click and select Import. From there, you're gonna to go to the folder that has all your photos. Now you're gonna to go to the last photo that was taken. After you select it, make sure that you've checked Image Sequence. That will tell the program that you wanna select that photo and every clip that is part of the time lapse. Click Import, and now you'll see the new clip in the Project Window. Drag it into your timeline, and when you play it, it'll probably be a little bit shaky. To fix the shake, you just need to add Warp Stabilizer to your clip. After it's rendered out, you can see that it's improved a lot. But if you still want to make adjustments to mess around with it, you can adjust the smooth settings here. Just experiment and go with whatever looks best. As you can see, we got some really cool clouds in the shots and it makes for really nice time lapses. 